Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Today we're going to be going into the Archon's Forge. I'm going to show you guys how to get there and how to complete the bounties as well. Now before we go there, just know that you will need to pick up something called a SIVA offering. Now you can get these in different types of places around the Plaguelands, but the easiest place that I've found to get them is through the public events and as well as just doing the patrols. Eventually you will either find a public event or just kill an enemy that will drop one of these offerings and then you can just take it over to the Plaguelands. So it's just like when you're on the Dreadnought, you gotta for the little white engrams that drop from some of the enemies, and they will eventually turn into what is called a SIVA offering. Once you have a SIVA offering, you take it to the Archon's Forge. Now if you don't know how to get here, just spawn into the Plaguelands and head to the right until you come to a place called the Archon's Keep. Here you just follow this pathway that I'm showing you now, and it will take you straight into the Archon's Forge. <laughs> Now once you're in the Archon's Forge, just go into your inventory and check on your keys. It's just like the keys from the Dreadnought that you would enter into the Core of Works. So the blue one is basically just a common one, although I have seen a green one drop before. Now on this one, I'm actually soloing it, which is a little bit difficult. You should have a couple of people in here to make it go by a little bit easier. But luckily with the Galahorn, things were able to turn out okay. Now upon completing this objective right here, I didn't really get all that much. But when I came back a couple minutes later, I did one that was a little bit of a higher tier and that one dropped a pretty incredible sniper for me. So the weapons and rewards from doing this are actually quite good. All you actually have to do is just come here and wait until a bunch of people are here, and then you can run them back to back just like in the Court of Oryx. And once you do that is when you really start getting a ton of rewards. Now I wasn't even the one who put in the key, and I still got a pretty incredible sniper from the boss. So I don't think you actually have to be the one to put in the key necessarily to get really good rewards. Now you definitely could solo this, but it is a little bit difficult, and a lot of more people will make it go by faster, and that way you don't need as many keys as well. Now if you do go to the Archon's Forge, when you do put in your key, you need to make sure that you get inside as fast as possible. I actually had put in one of the keys, and then the door is closed and I wasn't able to get inside, and it took away my key anyway, so even if you don't finish it, it will take away your key. And if you don't even start it, it still will take away the key as well. So you do want to make sure that if you start the event, you get inside the arena very quickly, because the doors can shut and lock you out, which is really unfortunate when you lose your keys. Now this is one of the new guns I got, the But Not Forgotten. Now this thing looks really ridiculous. I've never seen a gun look like this before in Destiny, and I was kind of expecting it to be an exotic when I first saw it, but it's actually a legendary. Now this thing is pretty insane. I used it in a couple games in the Crucible, and the scope is just like the Steel Piercer, and it just it handles really incredibly and sounds pretty awesome as well. So you can get that from the Archon's Forge, which was a pretty awesome reward that I've gotten so far. So hopefully this guy did help you out. And let me know if you guys got any crazy rewards as well in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.